Good morning. Welcome to CBSBaltimore.com. First morning weather. It's a darn near perfect start to the day. Skies have cleared out overnight. The low that we've been calling Invest 10L has now pulled away. Frankly, it's up over Long Island and New England at this time with pretty good rain shield and some light winds, not unlike we saw here yesterday. As that low continues to move out to sea, believe it or not, it's going to strengthen to a Cat 1 hurricane, but it's going to be long gone by then. Right now, what we want to discuss is high pressure giving us a couple real nice days and the remnants of Harvey. We know for a fact, and we'll discuss Harvey in more detail in a second. We know for a fact this moisture is going to get into the upper uh, Mississippi Valley. Then it's going to head up toward Ohio. That high is going to kind of lose its uh, grip on the forecast and not be able to suppress these remnants. Uh, that advancing frontal system is our only shot of maybe pushing them south. But right now, the general thinking is first half of the weekend may be very much like yesterday with clearing in almost perfect conditions by the end of the weekend. Forecast this day, partly sunny, warm, 78, beautiful. The Orioles play in a big baseball game this afternoon. I mean, they're, they're all six in a row six in a row run here. If you've got tickets for the game, you are living large. If you've been thinking, wow, what am I going to do this afternoon? If you've got the time off, head down to Oriole Park. It's going to be perfect baseball weather. Tonight, partly cloudy, humid, 63 as a low. The next two days with sun, there will be a temperature roller coaster, but not bad. 84 tomorrow, 68 Friday, but we start to cloud up Friday afternoon by late Friday night and through all of Saturday. Here's the remnants of Harvey, and it looks like it's, again, going to look, feel, be like Yesterday, you may wake up Sunday to great skies and damp conditions. We're hoping for clearing by the afternoon with a high of 80. Then Monday, again, darn near perfect. Sunshine and 84 degrees. Let's go down and talk specifically about Harvey, who about 6 a.m. made a second landfall uh, just to the east of Houston. And it, it didn't really strengthen in the Gulf of Mexico, but did pick up some moisture. Houston now starting to dry out a little bit. The moisture field east of Houston and on uh, toward Mobile, Alabama. And again, all this moisture is going to be moving up toward Memphis, Tennessee. Here's Harvey. Again, made a second landfall and is now headed up the Mississippi River as a tropical depression, then a deep area of low pressure. And don't kid yourself, we, we understand deep areas of low pressure here in the Mid-Atlantic. We call them nor'easters. We see them in the winter. Heavy rain, heavy wind, they can be just as problematic. And all this moisture, I started talking about it yesterday, and I'm going to bring it up again, has got to get into the Mississippi River and get down into the Mississippi Delta. New Orleans, well, as a matter of fact, let's look at the moisture plume. New Orleans is going to be picking up over almost 12 inches of rain, same, well, now over 12 inches of rain, same deal in Jackson, same deal in Memphis. And this big slug of water has got to eventually travel by a city that is below sea level. Look at that, 16 inches of rain at Mobile, Alabama. I call it unrelenting Harvey for good reason. We're writing chapter two right now, and I don't hold out a lot of hope it's going to be a good chapter to read at all. Thanks so much for stopping by CBSBaltimore.com and first morning weather.